I thought I got closure with the Christian egregore, but this week I noticed all the religious attributes at my parents' house. I live with them and can't remove all these crosses and icons. I took it all out of my room, but I don't know what to do with the rest of the house. Could this affect my work with the runes? We are nearing the end of the first debt, but the stories and tales on the Christian egregore continue. I wonder, at what rune will we finally be able to put this whole thing behind us? I really hope it will be very soon, at least before we get to the second act. Let's deal with your question as well. Look, colleague. The runes pointed out to you this story with such a problem and you truly do have a problem with it since you're asking about it. You cleaned up your space, but you can't clean up the common space that doesn't belong to you. Why? Because it doesn't belong to you. But still, there's something keeping you there, in that very space, you are forced to be in someone else's field, which could potentially be harmful to you. Although nothing prevents you from changing your location while working with the Futhark and the runes. Those who really wanted to do so did it already. But you didn't. You ask the question, could this affect my work with the runes, if you're asking this question then the answer is yes. It will surely affect both you and the runes, but you have set your priorities, there are your relatives, the family, your parents, your parental home, and there is your intention to work with the runes. And you understand that this is bothering you. Another person will set his priorities differently, and there won't be any problem for him. He will light up five candles placed in a circle and won't let himself be bothered at all. But it bothers you, and it will always bother you because you don't know how to combine the reality where your loved ones live with another reality your heart longs for. This is your task for this sequence of runes for learning the Futhark, to awaken your own self, Try to see alternative options, outside of the logic of, black or white, yes or no. There are a great number of options for solving this problem. Leaving a contact line between your own world and the world of your loved ones only to the extent that you are willing to accept, when interacting with each other. And this line and your interaction absolutely do not suggest that you are fully merging your realities. Even the teardrops of yin and yang contain dots of the opposite field. When we talk about personal realities, we mean that we will get in touch with other realities but we alone will determine the levels and volumes of this contact. Usually, this contact occurs through the overlap of common factors, namely through common elements, and within these common elements, we shape a single reality with someone else, with some other reality. But we don't mix realities if these common elements do not exist. Because any mixing of realities that don't share common elements initially implies the destruction of the weaker reality. Whose reality is weaker, your reality or theirs? Since the question has arisen, it is yours. You know that your reality is much weaker than that of your parents surrounded by icons, crosses, and other paraphernalia. It's not just more mature, more organized, and more time-aligned, but it's also supported by a serious religious system. At least it was serious once upon a time. And your reality is unsupported. You have nothing but yourself and the runes. 
and you don't believe that this would be enough to fight that system. But that's the thing, you don't have to fight, you just need to define the level of interpenetration, and set up boundaries at that level where interpenetration is not possible. Being able to do this is a great art. And maybe for you, it's a technical task, learning how to do this while covering and studying the runes of the Elder Futhark, try to start doing so, try it. Попробуйте начать.